Hey everyone, it's great to have you back on SFDC Ninja and today I am back with a brand new video of LWC Scenario Series. In this video, we will talk about a new tech launched by Salesforce which is Lightning Record Picker. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Guys, let's first understand what is this Lightning Record Picker tag. So this tag allows you to search and select Salesforce record without any additional coding. Let's understand this tag more clearly with a scenario. In this scenario, we will show related contacts of selected account in Lightning Record Picker tag in a Lightning Data Table. Let's say, user selects an account record in Lightning Record Picker, then all related contacts of that selected account should come in Lightning Data Table, which will be present below the Lightning Record Picker. So first, let's create a component. Let's name it Record Picker CMP. Now let's use Lightning Record Picker tag. Lightning record picker. Let's give label. Basically, in this tag, we will show account records. So, label will be accounts. Let's give placeholder. Let's say search accounts. After that, we have another attribute which is object API name. Object API name. In this attribute, we need to specify the object name for which we want to retrieve records in this tag. So let's write account and close this tag. So guys, that's all what we need to do in this tag. Let's save it and deploy it to org. It is successfully deployed. Let's go to developer console and let's embed our component here. Save it and let's preview it. So guys, as you can see that we have this input box here. Let's try to search any account. So we are getting records. But as of now, if we select any account record like this, then nothing will happen. But we need ID of this selected account to fetch related contacts. So for that, we have an on change event in this tag, which will be fired when a record has been selected or cleared. And that change event returns the record ID. So let's use it here like this on change handle change and this is the function which will be called on this event copy its name paste it here let's create a function and let's also create a variable to store account id let's say this is the id and here let's store account id in this variable copy its name like this event dot detail dot record id so now we have account id guys we have some more attributes in this tag which can be very useful like we have filter attribute which is used to specify which records to show in this tag for example if we want to have account records with industry agriculture and type prospect in this tag then we can simply use filter attribute for that let's see how let's use filter like this go to gs code the value of filter attribute is an object with a single property criteria. So let's create an object like this. Filter. Criteria property. Here criteria is an array with a list of filter criteria objects and an optional filter logic property. We will talk about filter logic property later. First, let's give some criteria like this field path industry operator equals and value agriculture let's add one more criteria field path type operator and at last value so these are the filter conditions for records now guys if we want a custom logic for filtering the records then we have filter logic property let's see how it works let's add one more criteria field path ownership operator equals and value will be public and we can write any custom logic like this. 
filter logic. One and two or three. So this way we can write any custom logic for filtering the records. Also, if we have not defined any filter logic, then all conditions are applied with end logical operator by default. As of now, we don't need any filter logic. So let's remove it. Remove this condition also. Let's create a new variable for filter and put this here. And finally, pass it here. Save it and let's deploy it to work. Okay, it is successfully deployed. Let's refresh this page. In our org, we have an account record with industry equals agriculture and type equals prospect. Now, if we have applied our filter correctly, then here only this account should come. Let's search for edge. It is not coming. Let's search for filter. Yeah, now it is coming. So this way we can use filter attribute to filter the records. We also have one more attribute matching info, which is used to define which fields to query for the search term in record picker. I mean, which fields on a record should be used to match the search terms entered into the record picker. This is useful when you want to allow user to search for records based on fields other than name field, or when you want to allow user to search for records based on a combination of fields. So let's use matching info. Matching info. Let's create an object for it. Matching info. Guys, this matching info object has two properties, primary field and additional fields. So let's use first property, which is primary field. Field path, here we need to give the field name. After that, we have additional fields. Field path, let's say phone. Also, there is one more important point that you can only specify one additional field. Create a new variable for matching info. Put this here. And finally, pass it here. Save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. But before that, let's enter a value in phone field. Click on save. Now we will try to search this account using this phone value. Refresh this page and let's try to enter phone number. We are getting account record. So this is how it works. So as you can see that this tag has made searching very easy without any additional code. Our first task has been completed. Now our next task is to show the related context of selected account in lighting data table. Let's create our lighting data table. Here. Lightning data table. Key field will be ID. Columns. So by this attribute, we will specify the columns we want to show in our lighting data table. For this, let's create an array of objects. Columns. This is for heading of column. First name, field name, and type. So this is the first column. Let's copy it. In second column, we want to show last name. And in third column, we will show phone. Create a new variable. Columns list. Copy this and paste it here. And at last, pass this variable in this attribute. Guys, I have already explained about these attributes in previous videos. You can check them out. I will provide links in description. After that, we have data attribute. Data list, 
copy this and create a variable with same name. So our structure of data table is ready. Now what we will do, we will get related contact records from Apex using this variable in which we will have our selected account record ID. Now let's create our Apex controller class. Let's name it record picker controller. Let's create our method public static. We want to return list of contact records. So return type will be list of contact. Get contacts and we will pass account ID as parameter. So let's pass it. And here we will simply return related contacts like this. Return select ID, comma, first name, last name, phone, account ID, from contact where account ID equals to this variable. Also, make this method available for lighting components using at the rate or enabled tag or enabled. Save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. Now let's import this class in our component. Like this. Import get contacts. Apex. Copy this class name. Paste it here. Dot. Copy this method name and paste it here. Now I see we need to get related contacts whenever user selects any account record here and we are capturing selected account id in this function here that's why we need to call our apex class method whenever user selects any account record i mean on calling of this function so what we will do we will simply create a function like this get related contacts and here we will call our apex method imperatively like this get contacts Pass this variable in parameter result and put the result in this variable which is being passed in lighting data table like this. Let's do some error handling also. Create a new variable for error and simply call this function here I mean whenever user selects any account record so now what will happen Whenever user selects any account record, then the selected record ID will be stored in this variable. And after that, this function will be called to get the related context of selected account record. So we have our code ready. Save it and deploy it to work. Okay, let's remove the filter also. Let's comment it. Save it and deploy it again. It is successfully deployed. It's time to see it in action. Refresh this page. Let's search any account. Select it. So here, as you can see, that related contacts of this account are coming in Lightning Data Table. Let's select any other account. Okay, we are getting contact records on removal of account. Let me check again. And if we remove this, then we are getting list of contact records. So this is a problem. And to solve this problem, we can do something like this. Let's create a list. And let's apply null check on this parameter. Not equals to null. Return con list. Save it and deploy it to work. Deploy this also. 
Now let's refresh this page. Select any account. Remove it. Now we are not getting a list of records. So that's it for today guys and I'll be back with more interesting LWC scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.